It has been. I mean, it's just kind of adding insult to injury. We had rain, ice, snow, a little bit of snow <laughs> this weekend, yeah. and now we've got this brutal cold. Today was just unbearably it's dangerous. Yeah, it's so nasty. I'm it saying. is, and it's dangerous tonight as well and tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, keep in mind, we hit our overnight lows generally right around sunrise. So the coldest part of the night is actually right when you get up and start getting ready for work and school. Make sure you leave plenty of time to maybe get the car started and just get warmed up, get bundled up. If you're sending the kids to the bus stop, lots of layers tomorrow. Let's take a look outside right now. Skies are clear Had a beautiful moon out there tonight. Still out there. It's a nice, clear, cold night. Winds are gradually dying down, but we still have some bitter wind chills outside tonight. Let's take you through the region. Take a look at current conditions in the city right now. It's 15. Look at those dew points. Dew points are below zero all across the region. It feels like zero in the city down the shore. It's 15. It feels like one below. Still with a northwest wind at 16 miles an hour and in the Poconos, winds are still 25 miles per hour, making the temperature of two feel like 22 below zero. We're on the wrong side of zero with these feels like temperatures and it's going to stay that way overnight at least. At least through about 3 a.m. it'll feel like right around zero. Gradually those feels like temperatures will start to rise, but again if you're heading out the door at 7 a.m. even 9 a.m. it only feels like four outside. That is dangerous cold. Now once the sun starts to get established and we start to warm things up and the winds die down most importantly you'll see those feels like temperatures rise and I'll tell you by 1 p.m. it'll feel like 23 which compared with today is actually Actually going to feel like a summer day. Overnight, the actual low will be 12. It'll feel like zero. Again, winds are still strong, but tomorrow, lots of sun, not as brutal. Winds gradually die down through the day and actually pretty calm in the afternoon. So 31 may actually feel like 31. But our next storm is on the way. Storm Scan 3 shows this system. You can't really tell. It's just starting to develop, but this is actually a warm front with clouds crossing the Great Lakes. The cold front is behind it. That's going to help warmer air move into the region. It's going to be a pretty drastic rebound in temperatures. We're going to go from the teens to the near 50s by Wednesday and Thursday, but it also brings the threat for some rain. So tomorrow is dry. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow evening with clouds just starting to work their way in. Temperatures really rise into Wednesday. The rain will move in. It should warm up fast enough that this stays just rain and we don't have too many ice issues here in Philadelphia, but it may start as some freezing rain, especially in the Poconos. That rain continues Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. It may end as a brief period of snow midday Thursday and then temperatures will crash again behind that front. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. Well, future wind gusts you can see we're still going to be strong as we head into tonight. They'll die down tomorrow and your seven day forecast 31 degrees tomorrow. We're up to near 50. There's a chance we get into the 50s early Thursday morning. Then temperatures plummet Thursday afternoon, Friday and Saturday back to the 30s. Cold again, <laughs> but not as cold as today.